The continent of North America is home to six different wildcat species, ranging from smaller species like the ocelot to big wildcats like the jaguar, which is the only out of the six species from the genus Panthera and therefore considered a big cat. But let's first start with the smallest wildcats and work our way up to the bigger ones. The jaguar rundi is probably one of the lesser known species and also the smallest wildcat in North America. They grow 50 to 75 centimeters long and weigh between 3 and 9 kilograms. With their slender bodies, rather short legs and sleek coats, they almost look more like a member out of the weasel family but actually belong to the feline family. Although the jaguar rundi is considered to be native to North America, its range only starts in southern Texas and extends as far south as northern Argentina. They prefer areas with flowing water and a lowland brush vegetation in which they hunt their prey consisting of mainly small rodents, small reptiles and birds. Ocelots are small to mid-sized wildcats living in both North and South America, with small numbers of populations being present in Texas and Arizona. Ocelots can grow as big as 1 meter and males sometimes weigh up to 15 kilograms. Characteristic for an ocelot is its marked and spotted fur pattern which is unique to each individual cat and a great camouflage for various different habitats including mangroves, savannas, marshes and forests. This nocturnal wildcat has a wide range of prey hunting animals like rodents, frogs, birds and sometimes even monkeys. With similar sizes like the ocelot, the Canadian lynx is next on our list. As you can probably tell by its name, they mainly live in Canada, but also the colder parts of northern US. It is believed that the Canadian lynx, as well as the bobcat, evolved from the Eurasian lynx, which is a little bit bigger and could have arrived in North America via the Bering Land Bridge. Characteristic for a lynx are the tufted ears and the big feet which act like snowshoes, which comes in handy while hunting their main prey, snowshoe hares. Since we already mentioned the bobcat, let's move over to this species which is quite similar to the Canadian lynx. Bobcats live in parts of southern Canada down to central Mexico and are therefore sometimes referred to as the warmer weather cousin of the Canadian lynx. Bobcats can reach weights of up to 18 to 20 kilograms at most and a length of over 1 meter. Its preferred habitats are wooded areas, wetland habitats, edges of forests and sometimes also urban areas. The habitat then also dictates their choice of prey, including rabbits and hares, but also other rodents, small birds and sometimes even insects. The mountain lion is the second biggest cat found in North America. Its range includes the Yukon in Canada down to the Andes Mountains in South America and has thus the most widespread range of all large terrestrial mammals in the Western Hemisphere. Mountain lions have adapted to a number of habitats, including mainly forest areas, grasslands and also sometimes desert-like environments. Big males can reach weights of up to 100 kilograms and can therefore hunt animals as big as deer, but also sometimes coyotes or other mammals like porcupines or raccoons. And finally, the biggest wildcat of North America and for sure one of the top apex predators of the world, the jaguar. Its range extends from southwestern US and Mexico to parts of South America, living in environments like forests, grasslands and wetlands, including the Amazon jungle in South America, which is home to most jaguars of the world. Jaguars are large and heavily built and are characterized by their golden yellow coat covered in spots. They have the third strongest bite force of all cats only being behind the tiger and the lion. This together with their powerful and agile body allows them to hunt animals as big as wild boar, deer, capybara and even common caimans in the jungle rivers. 
If you are even more interested in predators and the jaguar in particular, you might want to check out my video about the biggest predators of each continent and be on the lookout for the jaguar. You can click on the info symbol in the top right hand side or on the link in the description box down below. On the way down there, a like and a comment would be very much appreciated. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. It is free and only takes one second to do. But most importantly, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.